OK. I'm going to start with a quick test. Raise up your hands if you hate pigeons. That's actually less people than I thought there was going to be. <laughs> OK, so pigeons, simply poop machines or intelligent creatures with hidden talents. My goal today is to convince as many of you as I can to look at pigeons with a more positive outlook. I want to gear your minds towards optimism, as well as offer up some interesting facts that you may or may not know about these friendly or not so friendly birds that we happen to share a world with. I'm going to assume that most of you view pigeons with phrases something like pests or flying rats or some other phrase that elicits disgust, hatred, or even fear. Now, I'm not going to say that these birds aren't without their flaws, because after all, they do congregate around many places with the energy of a self-entitled mob, and they defecate virtually everywhere, and they seemingly glare at you with these beady eyes, almost as if they're challenging you to some fight that they're convinced they're going to win. Well, so they have many flaws. But that can easily be explained. Many of them are simply due to Mother Nature. And evolution has given them slightly thinner flight feathers. And this has caused the loud, annoying noise that you might hear when they suddenly take off. It's what hummingbirds have as well, and you don't hear people complaining about them. The, the loud noise that their wings make also conveniently functions to warn other pigeons in the case of an incoming predator. And it creates a scene looking something like this, which is a, called a pigeon plow, where each subsequent pigeon takes off from a lower and lower branch, creating an arced flight path. These birds get a bad reputation for surviving as well as they have. And seeing as they've proliferated and thrived as well as they have thus far, we kind of have to admit they've done a pretty good job at surviving, no matter how begrudgingly we do so. They <laughs> we live with them, ar around them every single day, and they've adapted to us. They're incredibly intelligent birds. They've learned to s survive off of our waste and use that as a source of food, and that's pretty resourceful of them. And something else that I'm pretty sure that almost none of you know is that they might actually be able to, de to detect cancer. A study trained 16 pigeons using biopsies of potential breast cancers and rewarded them with food for correct diagnoses. After they were trained, um, their average accuracy for detecting these cancers accurately was a staggering 85%. That's really impressive. And as it turns out, p the way pigeons perceive vis things visually is quite similar to humans. The way that their short-term memory works is also quite similar to ours. This sort of explains why that they are able to recognize themselves in mirrors, which is something that most dogs cannot do. And pigeons are also able to recognize letters of the alphabet, among many other things. Does this make any of you guys feel any better about pigeons? Yes? No? Well, I'm going to clear up some other misconceptions and prejudices that are asso commonly associated with these birds. Number one, they are pests. True. They are classified as such. According to Maine.gov, the definition of a pest is any living creature that has a negative impact on humans, which we can all easily agree that they are. Other sources also concur that they are pests, and some of them even call them vermin. However, not all pigeons will act like pests, just like how not all humans are mean or nasty. There's a huge variety in species of pigeons, well over 300 of them, and we only really encounter the most common one, the feral pigeon, in our daily lives. There are other species, like the domestic pigeon, which are known for their calm cooing sounds and friendly demeanor. And these make for really adorable pets. It's not fair to lump these pigeons in with the feral ones just because they fall under the category of pigeons. These ones are often overshadowed by their rowdy city counterparts. Number two, their poop corrodes. This is also true. Unfortunately, this is how they transmit disease, but there is a bright side. Said poop is actually known to be one of the best organic fertilizers after it gets composted. 
And this is incredible for the environment and shows potential for sustainable ventures into the future. And number three, pigeons are spies. Yes and no. No, they are not robots sent by the government to spy on your everyday life and see what you're doing. But in World War I, they were equipped with cameras and sent into enemy territory in order to collect important intel and report it back. So in that case, yes, they were spies. But being a good messenger and a spy is not necessarily a bad thing. After all, carrier pigeons were, played an essential role in World War II, and 32 of them were awarded the Dickens Medal for Bravery, which is the animal equivalent for the Victoria Cross. That, although that's less than what dogs earned, it's more than cats and horses combined. And that's a pretty impressive achievement in and of itself. You can look at pigeons in one of two ways. One, they are nasty, disgusting, and really annoying. Here, you focus on the negative, focusing on what bad they have done, rather than acknowledging the fact that they have done so many good things and can continue to do so. The fact that they can detect cancer is an amazing discovery that warrants far more appreciation and celebration than it gets garnered at present. <clears throat> These pigeons deserve far more respect than we give to them, and due to, not only due to their intelligence, but due to what help they can give to us. We encounter them every single day in our daily lives, and there are other aspects of our lives too that we view with such neg negativity and pessimism, least of all these birds. If we can remove just one thing off of that list, that's already doing our own selves a greater ton of good. So I want you all to take a step back and look at pigeons with a bit of perspective. No, they're not demons. No, they're not trying to take over the world either, at least I hope not and they're not evil, and they can be so helpful to us too. They make for good pets, they can also substitute for, um, they can also be a substitute for therapy dogs, and they can just be like wonderful creatures. And pigeon racing is still actually quite a popular sport. So, having said all of this, I hope that you all will be able to look at pigeons with a different perspective, a positive one, one that looks at them with optimism and hopes for a better future. And maybe you won't hate them nearly as much as you did before hearing this talk. Thank you for listening.